Hi guys, Jamie Sullins, Star Director with Cincy Wickless Products, and I'm coming to you today with advice that it not only pertains to my Cincy business or really any direct sales business it would help, but also just in life. Maybe just some, some knowledge that could help you in life, and it's actually a little snippet of information that I picked up sitting in church last weekend. So, I decided to shoot this video outside, and I don't know if you can hear from the background noise, but it's kind of misting, just a little bit of a sprinkle. Um, it's kind of gloomy today, a little overcast and a little cloudy, just kind of one of those blah days. And I decided to shoot this video outside because that kind of pertains to what I want to talk about. I want to talk about hot, cold, and lukewarm. So first, let's think about vacations places that that most people think of as vacation places so you've got the beach it's hot it's steamy you like to jump in the ocean because it's so hot or a lot of people like to go skiing perhaps they go to Colorado or even up into Canada for skiing it's cold it's frigid and um, so there's things to do activities to do in that weather Rarely do people go to places that are just like this, gloomy, lukewarm, just kind of in between. I mean, they do, but, but that's not really the vacations that you hear about and people's favorite vacations. So now let's think about foods that you enjoy. If you know me or if you've been watching my videos for any amount of time, you know that I love coffee. I'm a huge coffee drinker. And I don't want my coffee lukewarm. I want my coffee steaming hot, fresh and hot. Um, my husband is an ice cream addict. Of course, he doesn't want his ice cream lukewarm. It would be melted and yucky and just, ew. He wants it freezing cold right out of the freezer. So take these analogies of weather or food temperatures and put them into your life. Think about the people that you enjoy being around in your life. Are they cold? Are they lukewarm? Or are they hot? Most of the people that I, I would say, most of the people in my life that I really enjoy being around, I use the word hot to describe them. They have passion about something. And it just comes out of them. I don't really like being around cold people. Those are the people that I, I term negative Nellies. They're, they're always pessimists. They're just no fun to be around. They're, they're always griping about something, whining about something. They're cold. They just, they have a cold spirit about them and I don't like being around them. I don't enjoy being around them. And really I don't enjoy being around lukewarm people either. I mean, I can tolerate them and, and we're surrounded by lukewarm people in this world. I, I would beg to say the majority of people in this world are lukewarm. They're the ones that are going to conform to what everyone else says just because they don't want to rock the boat. They're the ones that are going to agree with pop culture just because that is what everyone agrees. So I would beg to say that most people in this world are, are lukewarm. And, and I can be around lukewarm people, but they're not the people that I seek out to fill my life with. When I think about the people that I love spending my life with, they are on fire. You can feel the aura surround them, the passion come out of them. They're always happy. They're excited about something. Or maybe they're so passionately against something that you feel that energy coming out of them. So they're filled with energy for something. They have something that's so powerful in their life that you can feel it when you're around them. Now, I do want to take a spin on this into your business, if you have a direct marketing business. Think of that before you interact with anyone. What type of person are you? And you can change what type of person you are. Are you cold or are you lukewarm or are you hot? Are you on fire? And that's the type of people that others wanna do business with. That's the type of people that others remember. And that's what you want to be. So think about your life, think about your attitude and what word would people use to describe you? If you don't like the word that maybe they would use, 
you can change it. It's your choice. It's your choice to be the type of person that you desire to be, not the type of person that you are today. So I hope this little snippet has given you something to think about, maybe something to change in your life, and I hope that you each have a sensational day.